not 25% better each generation, but much, much more. This is the most extreme co-designed computer we've ever made, and quite frankly, made in modern times. Since the IBM System 360, I don't think a computer has been ground up, reinvented like this ever. This system was incredibly hard to create. I'll show you the benefits in just a second. But essentially what we've done, essentially what we've done, we've created otherwise, hey Janine, you can come out. It's, you have to, you have to meet me like halfway. All right, so this is kind of like Captain America Shield. So NVLink 72, NVLink 72, if we were to create one giant chip, one giant GPU, this is what it would look like. This is the level of wafer scale processing we would have to do. It's incredible. All of this, all of these chips are now put into one giant rack. Did I do that or did somebody else do that? Into that one giant rack. You know, sometimes I don't feel like I'm up here by myself. <laughs> this one giant rack makes all of these chips work together as one. It's actually completely incredible. And I'll show you the benefits of that. The way it looks is this. So, thanks, Janine. I, I like this. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Janine Paul. I got it. In the future, next I'm just going to go like Thor. It's like when you're at home and, and you can't reach the remote and you just go like this and somebody brings it to you. That's, yeah, same idea. It never happens to me. I'm just dreaming about it. I'm just saying. Okay, so, so anyhow, anyhow, um, we basically, this is what we created in the past. This is NVLink MV Link 8. Now, these models are so gigantic, the way we solve it is we turn this model, this gigantic model, into a whole bunch of experts. It's a little bit like a team. And so these experts are good at certain types of problems. And we collect a whole bunch of experts together. And so this giant multi-trillion dollar AI model has all these different experts, and we put all these different experts on a GPU. Now, this is NVLink 72. We could put all of the chips into one giant fabric, and every single expert can talk to each other. So the master, the, the primary expert, could talk to all of the true work, and all of the necessary context and prompts, and bunch of data that we have to, bunch of tokens that we have to send to all of the experts. The experts would Whichever one of the experts are selected to solve the answer would then go off and try to respond. And then it would go off and do that layer after layer after layer. Sometimes eight, sometimes 16, and sometimes these experts, sometimes 64, sometimes 256. But the point is, there are more and more and more experts. Well, here, MVLink 72, we have 72 GPUs. And because of that, we could put four experts in one GPU. The most important thing you need to do for each GPU is to generate tokens, which is the amount of bandwidth that you have in HBM memory. We have one, H one GPU generating thinking for four experts, versus here, because each one of the computers can only put eight GPUs, we have to put 32 experts into one GPU. So this one GPU has to think for 32 experts versus this system, each GPU only has to think for four. And because of that, the speed difference is incredible. And this just came out. This is the benchmark done by semi-analysis. They do a really, really thorough job. And they benchmarked all of the GPUs that are benchmarkable. And it turns out it's not that many. If you look at the list of, looks, <laughs> list of GPUs you could actually benchmark, is like 90% NVIDIA. Okay? And but so we're comparing ourselves to ourselves, but the second best GPU in the world is the H200 and runs all the workload. Grace Blackwell per GPU is 10 times the performance. Now, 
how do you get 10 times the performance when it's only twice the number of transistors? Well, the answer is extreme co-design. And by understanding the nature of the future of AI models, and we're thinking across that entire stack, we can create architectures for the future. This is a big deal. It says we can now respond a lot faster, but this is an even bigger deal. This next one, look at this. This says that the lowest cost tokens in the world are generated by Grace Blackwell and VLink72, the most expensive computer. On the one hand, GB200 is the most expensive computer. On the other hand, its token generation capability is so great that it produces it at the lowest cost because the tokens per second divided by the, t by the total cost of ownership of Grace Blackwell is so good. It is the lowest cost way to generate tokens. By doing so, delivering incredible performance, 10 times the performance, delivering 10 times lower cost, that virtual cycle can continue. Which then brings me to this one, I just saw this literally yesterday. This is uh, the CSP CapEx. People are asking me about CapEx these days. And um, this is a good way to look at it. In fact, the CapEx of the top six CSPs, and this one, this one is uh, Amazon, CoreWeave, Google, Meta, Microsoft, and Oracle. Okay, these CSPs together are going to invest this much in CapEx. And I would, I would tell you, the timing couldn't be better. And the reason for that is now we have the Grace Blackwell NVLink 72 in all volume production, supply chain everywhere in the world is manufacturing it. So we can now deliver to all of them this new architecture so that the CapEx invests in instruments, computers that deliver the best TCO. Now underneath this, there are two things that are going on. So when you look at this, it's actually fairly extraordinary. It's fairly extraordinary anyhow. But what's happening under, underneath is this. There are two platform shifts happening at the same time. One platform shift is going from general purpose computing to accelerated computing. Remember, accelerated computing, as I mentioned to you before, it does data processing, it does image processing, computer graphics, it does comp computation of all kinds. It runs SQL, runs Spark, it runs, you know, you, you ask it, you tell us what you need to have run, and I'm fairly certain we have an amazing library for you. You could be, you know, a data center trying to make masks to manufacture semiconductors. We have a great library for you. And so underneath, irrespective of AI, the world is moving from general purpose computing to accelerated computing, irrespective of AI. And in fact, many of the CSPs already have services that have been here long ago before AI. Remember, they were invented in the era of machine learning, classical machine learning algorithms like XGBoost, algorithms like um, uh, data frames that are used for recommender systems, collaborative filtering, content filtering. All of those technologies were created in the old days of general purpose computing. Even those algorithms, even those architectures are now better with accelerated computing. And so even without AI, the world's CSPs are going to invest into acceleration. NVIDIA's GPU is the only GPU that can do all of that plus AI. And ASIC might be able to do AI, but it can't do any of the others. NVIDIA could do all of that, which explains why it is so safe to just lean into NVIDIA's architecture. We have now reached our virtual cycle our inflection point. And this is quite extraordinary. I have many partners in the room, and all of you are part of our supply chain, and I know how hard you guys are working. I wanna thank all of you, how hard you are working. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna show you why. This is what's going on in our company's business. We're seeing extraordinary growth for Grace Blackwell for all the reasons that I just mentioned. It's driven by two exponentials. We now have visibility. I think we're probably the first technology company in history to have visibility into half a trillion dollars of cumulative Blackwell and early ramps of Rubin through 2026. And as you know, 2025 is not over yet and 2026 hasn't started. 
This is how much business is on the books. Half a trillion dollars worth so far. Now this is, out of that, we've already shipped six million of the Blackwells in the first several quarters, I guess the first four quarters of production, three and a half quarters of production. We still have one more quarter to go for 2025, and then we have four quarters. So the next five quarters, there's $500, million, $500 billion, half a trillion dollars. That's five times the growth rate of Hopper. That kind of tells you something. This is Hopper's entire life. This doesn't include China and, and, um, and Asia, so this is just uh, the West, okay? This is just, uh, we're excluding China. So Hopper, in its entire life, four million GPUs. Blackwell, each one of the Blackwells has two GPUs in it in one large package. 20 million GPUs of Blackwells in the early parts of Ruben. Incredible growth. So I want to thank all of our supply chain partners, everybody. I know how hard you guys are working. I made a video to celebrate your work. Let's play it. The age of AI has begun. Blackwell is its engine, an engineering marvel. In Arizona, it starts as a blank silicon wafer. Hundreds of chip processing and ultraviolet lithography steps build up each of the 200 billion transistors, layer by layer on a 12-inch wafer. In Indiana, HBM stacks will be assembled in parallel. HBM memory dies with 1,024 IOs are fabricated using advanced EUV technology through Silicon Via is used in the back end to connect 12 stacks of HBM memory and base die to produce HBM. Meanwhile, the wafer is scribed into individual Blackwell die, tested and sorted, separating the good dies to move forward. The chip on wafer on substrate process attaches 32 Blackwell dies and 128 HBM stacks on a custom silicon interposer wafer. Metal interconnect traces are etched directly into it, connecting Blackwell GPUs and HBM stacks into each system and package. for offloading and accelerating networking, storage, and security are carefully assembled into GB300 compute trays. NVLink is the breakthrough high-speed link that NVIDIA invented to connect multiple GPUs and scale up into a massive virtual GPU. The NVLink switch tray is constructed with NVLink switch chips providing 14.4 terabytes per second of all-to-all -all bandwidth. NVLink spines form a custom blind-mated backplane with 5,000 copper cables connecting all 72 Blackwells, or 144 GPU dies, into one giant GPU, delivering 130 terabytes per second of all-to-all -all bandwidth, nearly the global Internet's peak traffic. Skilled technicians assemble each of these parts into a rack-scale AI supercomputer. In total, 1.2 million components, two miles of copper cable, 130 trillion transistors, weighing nearly two tons. From silicon in Arizona and Indiana to systems in Texas, Blackwell and future NVIDIA AI factory generations will be built in America. Writing a new chapter in American history and industry. America's return to making and reindustrialization, reignited by the age of AI. The age of AI has begun. Made in America. Made for the world.